Hello, everyone. Um, I'm very honored to have this opportunity to come here in Finhong, the origin of Jin and the origin of global uh, ecology movement, and introduce my our uh, country's community. This is um, the picture from our first branch, which is totally designed and uh, built by ourselves, by all the members. Uh, we chose the a location in Yunnan, which is southeast China, offers the best climate uh, of China. Uh, sorry. And we have three branches, uh, three branches in Yunnan, with 150 members. This is the first branch, 50, about 50 members, permanent members. The third branch, about 42. And the fourth branch, about 68. Um, we built these three branches in three years, and the member rose from original 20 up to 150, including 20 older members and 14 children. And we also have members that are living outside of the community. It's around 480 who really have the uh, common values with our members and the common dream, but it just hasn't, hasn't the material conditions to live in. And all funds are completely raised within members. That means the all funds are um, donated by our founder and all the members, no other support from the society or organizations. And all design and construction are done by our own, ourselves. We have simple life, Simple and happy life. I just want to show you some pictures. <laughs> the members are from all age levels. The eldest is about 68, uh, 86 older, uh, 86. And uh, these are some young guys. This is me. <laughs> This is a dining room that we use the condition of the nature environment, a big uh, glass wall that we can enjoy the food and also <laughs> enjoy the skin. We have a monthly party. Uh, these are all elderly members and they just practice dancing together. And the children. So um, we really, um, runs very well internally that we uh, try to build, a, uh, we have achieved to build a very beautiful and harmonious environment between nature and people. And we also uh, received many visitors from uh, abroad. They are coming from 15 countries. Some visitors um, just come and experience the community life with us. And we also uh, get involved in the international activity, like we go to, or we send a member to Tamara in May 2013 to do some exchange with the community philosophy and the life mode of the different communities. And also, we attended the seminar, a seminar they hold. This is the community exchange with Konohana Family Japan, uh, happened in 2013. We sent one member to go there and experience about two, mon uh, two months to do, to do deep exchange between eco-villagers. And we also attended the Gen Europe conference, uh, try to do more connection with uh, global resources. And also we became a general member in two years ago and attended the AGM, official member, as an official member. Another big thing is that after the exchange with Konohan family, we find that we really hold a similar philosophy and the life mode. So we announced that we um, become 
announced to unite as one big fa international family. So we do sign an uh, official announcement like this. This is our, the left one is, this, uh, is our founder. And we have the second branch plan, which is supposed to be in Canada, but is the mature, uh, the condition is not mature yet, but we keep the um, possibility there because we have some members living in Canada who has this kind of intention, but we're just waiting for better timing. And New Oasis for Life, I'd like to explain our understanding and our vision. It's like we think the world, we, the planet, we're going to enter a new age that all people need to update their values from the consciousness, consciousness level. So uh, we already have many, many eco-villages or eco-village movement around the world, but we also need to hold, to hold, hold a, a new universal value so that in order to integrate different culture, different uh, civilization, different spirituality practice or philosophy together and to make an uh, innovation culture globally. That's the basis. And the second is new life and production mode. The third is new social system. In our community, we, have, we also have a spiritual uh, guide. We call him guide. He tried to do this kind of work through 2001, and he, he wrote more than 2,500 articles, which is over 10 million, uh, 10 million words in Chinese. And we published some books through Hong Kong publishment, but not uh, in mainland China. It includes some important content around, uh, regarding the life, the origin of life, the origin of universe and universe, um, the different spaces of, of, of the universe, and the greatest creator, which we defined as the energy source and the spirituality source of the whole universe, the center of wisdom, crea creation. And how to purify people's soul garden, the relationship among man, nature, and society, how to deal with it, and how to find a really um, effective way to make it run smoothly and uh, we will not hurt the planet anymore. And about the human uh, relationship, about love, sexual love, and ethnics, men should abide by. And the essence of marriage, family, religion, political party, country, these are all from the old, old social system. And then some, we call it non-material, what it's like something like consciousness level sublimation, the energy people can feel, um, and the structure. Yeah, I must go fast. Um, and our new life mode is like the, the, uh, the elderly and the children, and all age, uh, people from all ages is taken care of by the community. The new social system contains of, um, we think we have a bold vision that one day the world just only need one global government that can uh, arrange all the resources, including human resources together. And then we can have a university to educate the universal values to share different values and we can most of the people will just live eco-village life then the earth will turn into a big international family without the borders beyond the countries nations and the races all these things but we meet challenges this is the important part i want to mention um, we got disbandment from the government since 2013 uh, which is, the reason is that they think we are too advanced to suit the current Chinese society, and they regard it as a potential threat. This is the third branch. They, they damage the road and the door, and they just uh, um, seek some people to come and uh, they asked us to leave and they cut off our water pipes. 
electric, electric wires. <coughs> they did a lot of things to to us, and just because they they think we need to leave. So we have to move from Yunnan, this place, and move to two new far, three new farms that in Xinjiang, Northwest China, and uh, East China. So we start over again in Xinjiang. This is the very um, beginning, very poor and uh, bad condition at the, very, at the first. Then after six months, we change this farm like this. This is another farm in Xinjiang, very beginning. Then after six months, we change. We build new houses and uh, clean all the things. This is the farm in Jiangsu. Then, three months later, then we encountered the second <laughs> disbandment. Mm -hmm. um, they know that they will trace our members. They know that we gather again and try to do eco-friendly farms that we claimed the second time, but they don't. They feel that they, they are afraid that we will become a threat, have that kind of uh, ambition on politicians politics, so they come and do, do this to us again. The same method. So the, the farm in Jiangsu, we move to Xinjiang again. But um, last year, just several months ago, October 2014 and to February this year, um, the two farms in Xinjiang also the third time that they come to, this is happened in very cold winter day, um, January this year. Uh, 45, mem 45 members, okay. 45 members come, uh, official officers come and they use big machine to tow down all these, uh, all these houses. I don't really want to put too much uh, because it is sad, but it, this is the fact that <laughs> just let people know what has happened. This is a picture that we took part of the members before leaving. So now the situation is like we have to move from Xinjiang again, and they 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 need to they ask us to disband because they can't accept that we gather in a relatively big scale. So now 85% of the members have scattered into the four re regions working in the cities. And But the one small farm in Xinjiang was kept with about eight, 16 members. This is, the, this is the one that we seldom mentioned online and not so, uh, it's not promoted so much. Another, and we try to transfer it into a restore, restoration, uh, sorry. Yeah, ecotourism site and a new place. Then after arranging all the members uh, working the life with the founder and the, some of the members, including me, we go to the South China, try to find a new place to, for the further possible survival or development. This is the site we found. You can see there is a beautiful rainbow. And we try to change it into a campsite for travelers very far, very soon. So I'm coming here just to want to share the story of this community. Um, one part is that we have this kind of a system, we have the values and this kind of life mode, but other part is I hope if anyone can offer uh, suggestions or support on our, our situation because our main uh, restriction is that the government, they, they are afraid we will become a threat but we just have no, totally no ambition on politics. We just want to do a model for the Chinese society. So we need to get some support, maybe from, from some good organization, organization with good reputation or scholars or professors or some really good reputation individuals. They can come and give us some positive acknowledgement then the government will trust us more or understand us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we can continue. Otherwise, our members, they just can't come back and they, they need to continue work outside. So, 
Okay, uh, thank you for paying attention and listening. Thank you.